Chet Curtis coming to you live from the Bethel Family Health Center. Famed film critic Garrett Gould was found unconscious outside of the Golden Banana under questionable circumstances. He is in critical condition. Stay tuned for more updates. Uh... This is Chet Curtis coming to you live from the Bethel Family Health Center reporting on Garrett Gould with an update. Doctors say he's still in critical condition and is hallucinating, reciting lines from film and TV. And here's Mrs. Gould now. Mrs. Gould, can I get a word? Ah, that bastard! Doctor, we've inserted a chip into Garrett Gould's brain to read imagery and capture brain waves. Perfect. Ethel. Ethel. I can't do that. Why not? I'm in love with you. Snap out of it! I can't quit. Mm. We could have had a good life together. Fucking real good life. Had us a place of our own. But you didn't want it, Ennis! So what we got now is broke back mouth! I wish I knew how to quit you. Uh, uh. Women at one time or another have faked it. Well, they haven't faked it with me. How do you know? Because I know. Yes, 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 yes. Well, I'll have what she's having. Anastasia Beaverhausen. Karen? No. Karen, it's you. You must have me mistaken for somebody else. My name is Anastasia Beaverhausen. Chet Curtis coming to you live from the Bethel Family Health Center with an update on Garrett Gould. Sad to say that the final curtain has come down on Garrett and he has passed away today. Back to you, Natalie, with that update on the ladybug infestation downtown. We must be over the rainbow. from the graveyard where I'm visiting the burial site of famed film critic Garrett Gould. Oh, 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 I just want my privacy! Stop pretending you're drunk, Becky. So where the hell is he? I don't know. Hey guys! Good to see you. I'm so sorry. I'm late. How are you doing? Very good. How are you? I'm good. Very good. So, what brings you in today? So, I don't know. I, I don't know what to do anymore. I just got 
He's always drunk. He's always got his pals over. The other night I made this great meal for them. They were watching a game. I set up a whole spread and he's just like too drunk to even eat. He's like toppled over practically. I can't stand it. It's just... Stop pretending. You're drunk, Becky. Come on, hurry up, hike the ball, let's go! Come on! Come on, I don't want a false start, let's go! 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 Awesome! Hello, what a day. Wow, did you see that? Yeah, no. What a great play. Well, I hope you all All pleas. Hey, Ray, what? What's up? You guys ready for lunch? Yeah, what'd you make? Um, I made this great charcuterie board. I found well, in... a, a, a charcuterie? A what? Char charcuterie. What the hell is that? It's Anastasia Beaverhausen's favorite thing. Does it got meat in it? <laughs> Lots of meat. <laughs> Go out there and grill those fucking burgers. I want burgers. Let me tell you about this gourmet meal. This one thinks she's Anastasia Beaverhausen. Oh, uh, the famous cook? Yes. What was it? It was salty? Or... It was terrible. Is it because you're not used to creative? Sin. Well, what a great game. Hey, first down. Yeah. No kidding. Mark, thank you for having us over today. This is really enjoyable. Hey, yeah, no, it's so good to see you. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah. Hey, are you guys ready for lunch or what? Well, guys, uh, we clearly have some disagreements here. Um, we should try to tease apart food from the feelings. Um, I do have to cut this short today, but let's get back to it and uh, I, I think we have to talk about drinking habits and explore that in the next meeting I will see you soon <laughs> all right well let's go well let's go where was the confusion it's kind of a waste of time huh yeah. Let's go have a drink. Rodney? What? We have a serious cheer emergency. What are you doing? I'm busy. No, no you're not. I'm curious. I'm coming over. Don't. We have a problem. Seriously? Omar has a new move for the Bethel Bowling Alley Cheer Championship tomorrow. So? So, if he does this move, we're gonna lose just like we did last year. Well, what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Let's go get Stefano, get your tights on, and let's go. We have a problem. Que cosa? Que problema? Omar has a new move. <gasps> Massa, que massa. Omar's practicing a new move up at Sunday River, and if he nails it, we're going to lose the cheer championship tomorrow. No, 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 non possiamo lasciarglielo permettere. Fammi prendere le mie cose e andiamo. Assolutamente. What did he say? Okay, just get your leggings and let's go. Matt. What? 
We have a disaster on our hand. What is it this time? Omar has a new move, and if he nails it, we're never gonna win the championship tomorrow. Never. What do you want me to do about it? Cosa? Dobbiamo andare a cercarlo, dobbiamo andare a fermarlo, dobbiamo fare qualcosa perché se lui fa questa mossa poi andrà a finire di nuovo che vincerà il campionato. Questo non lo possiamo assolutamente permettere, no? What did he just say? We don't know. We need to find Omar. Where is he? He's right over there. What is she doing? Okay, wait, here it comes. Here comes the big move. Why didn't we get pom poms like that? <gasps> you're right. This is a cheer catastrophe. You know what you need to do. I don't do that anymore. You're gonna do to her what you did to Anastasia Beaverhausen last year. Now let's go! Oh, hey ladies. Nice new move. What new move? Oh, stop pretending like you're drunk, Becky. What did he just say? We, we don't, don't know. know. Listen, you're not doing that move tomorrow. Oh, I'm doing that move. No, you're not. What? Ready? Okay. Ah! What you did you end of Sage Reaver Housing last year? Now let's go. <laughs> <laughs>